the event is gone. Just disappeared. Didn't hear anything about it. It's just not there anymore. The one that gave like daily elixirs and stuff. Bit odd, not sure if that's on purpose or what, but uh, we only ever got one elixir. <laughs> and I'm thinking about using it right now. So we can combine it with the Slayer Speed Pass for half tasks and then also use the orb in our house to just knock out some Slayer points. I don't know how much you can get from this, but I feel like it's worth a try and then uh, yeah, it's an edge hotspot at the moment. So I feel like that would be a good time, less peak airs at least. And then we can try out the Treasure Fairy and all of that and hope for some collection lock slots. So yeah, let's do some Blood Slayer, yay. All right, so I popped everything. And then I want to use some boosts on top of that. Maybe we'll use an adventure scroll and go all out. Um, I think everything should be active. I have a task already. So I do believe the very first one is just going to remain seven. But then when I go to get a new task, it will be a half the amount, I believe. So yeah, let's go give this a go. I'm not even sure if the elixir and the orb are going to stack together. But we're going to find out in just a minute here. Uh, 60 Slayer points for that task, so I do believe that is uh, four times the normal amount of points. Normally it's uh, 15, so yeah, this should be pretty good. I also heard I can use my POH to get more drop rates, and if that works for Crazy Arc, then I should be able to reach like 250% or something. Chaos Elemental task, I do believe it works for that as well. I'm noticing a massive mad hit difference in not using Reaver gear. I saw a lot of comments telling me, you know, it's melee gear, it gives negative range bonus, don't use that for range, blah 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 blah. I gotta say, man, hard disagree. Um, it's like an 8 max hit difference for a tiny bit of accuracy, so I would argue, like, depending on whether or not you uh, have enough accuracy to make up for it, but as long as you don't spam zeros non-stop, it's hella worth it. Like, Reaver is genuinely good. The big reason I'm not using it right now is because, well, with the new Grand Looting Bag, which I definitely should empty out every time I bank. Okay, good, I did. Um, I'm gonna be risking more, so I want to ensure that... Um, fucking hell, they were a little bit tankier than normal, so yeah, a bit more risk, yada yada yada. That's why I'm not gonna use the Reaver gear, because you do get shredded through it, it's fucking paper. Yeah, guys telling me about Blood Slayer Cave, it would be way better points, but I hear it's still getting camped out quite a bit, so, and I don't even have it unlocked yet. It was a 5 Chaos Elemental test, so it did seem halved. Pretty low amount. Let's just spam out a bunch of tasks. 6 points, or 60 points each. Should stack up quite nicely, quite quickly. So, is there a separate one for Crazy Arc here? Yes, there is, and can you use it after using the Chaos Ellie one, or is there like a... No, you can use it. Oh, that is dope as fuck. So now for both Chaos Elemental and Crazy Arc, I'll get even more drop rate bonus or something, I'm guessing. It doesn't really clarify. It shows 230% in my thingy, so... Yeah, should be good. Should be decent. Well, got a little ring of vigor at 707kc. I mean, money. Uh, by the way, we started with 2,264 Blood Slayer points. Just so we can uh, have an idea of how many we gained at the end. Um, <laughs> How to explain? I was doing my uh, Wildy Worm all casual and shit and someone pulled up and I killed them. It was a bit anticlimactic and I couldn't even like respond. Like I was so busy responding to the situation, I couldn't get my recorder on and shit. So y'all kinda missed it. The loot wasn't like anything to write home about though, but a little bit of bags and all of, all of that stuff. Uh, there's a random guardian imp wandering around here with no one around. That's mine. And it's an elder blood impling jar. We gladly take those. Just got another ring of vigor. Not even that many KC. It's been a few tasks, but haven't been seeing this task in general all that much. But now with a little vigor once more. Alright ladies and gentlemen, just gonna finish this task as a part of it, but my timers just ran out for the hour. Which uh, means we can go check out how much we got in total. I will say, it's a little bit less than I originally expected, and yeah, this one is obviously only gonna give 15 instead of the usual amount. Um, but it's not too awful. Gotta keep in mind, I don't have a Scutizo bow, let alone the Web Weaver bow, because that would speed it up a ton. 
but we made about, what, 1215 points. Huh. Yeah, it's literally that one extra test right there, otherwise it would have been 1200 on the dot. Interesting, not too bad, decent amount of tasks done and, uh, and whatnot. Didn't get the drops we wanted, but we got a couple of Ring of Vigors, I also died two times I think. Unfortunate, but it is what it is, we try our best. Um, almost 3.5k points though, so, you know, slowly working our way up towards that Blood Slayer Beast pet. Sure, we'll get to that at some point now. Alright, just got back from a break. Really happy to see the fact that the Slayer Speed Pass uh, pauses when logged out, so we can just continue with half tasks right now. Normally I wouldn't really do Kraken, but I've occasionally seen people get very low KC uh, logs here. It's just without a Skitizo bow, 750 HP takes a hot minute. Not gonna lie, so it's not the ideal task for me right now, but it will have to do. Just gonna grind some more Blood Slayer casually, and I'll see you guys if I get any loot. I got two more prize tickets from uh, a weekly. Not a key. Also not a key. Uh, wasting my slayer time real quick on a few services, but it shouldn't be that much of a time waste. Uh, my boy Ghost told me to just start doing mystery chests with grand prize keys. He said it's really good for the collection lock slots. Uh, he's done like 300 openings and he's 32 out of 40 or something. And most of the time you kind of break even anyway, so it's not like a massive GP loss for how many log slots you can get through them. So I think that's a good uh, combination of doing stuff rather than just always selling them. I get a little bit of extra for that. Don't think I'll uh, you know, get it now, nice third age ring. But um, it might be nice for the second season to already have like a bit of a head start on here. I do find it funny that I got all the crystal items already though. <laughs> See if we can uh, get a one out of one on the key. Oh, 98 bill each. Let's see how much of a win or loss they are. Two crests, honestly, that makes most of the key back and the M chest was for free, so I guess, okay. No log slots on the first one though. Oh, and that se second one is just absolutely disgusting. I've been lied to. Why would you do this to me, ghost? It's trash. Ooh, there's another ring of vigor as I finished my Chaos Elite task. It is a little funny though, 730kc, 11 rings, nothing else, absolutely nothing so far. But figures are money so we take it. Another ring of vigor. Seems like this happened to be a little accident because we just got it back and that is really cool. Day 3, Hunter Sigils, I don't really plan to do those anytime soon but now we can start getting more Blood Slayer Lexus, yay. Alright, starting a brand new day off with a little Gold Hunger Games win. Didn't record the actual game though, but all good. Few of these, a little bit of GP and a donator box. Ooh, into a crystal play buddy, that's another 100 bill, we take those. It's kind of funny that we're still, <laughs> we're still using those 3 hours. Uh, the Lairs keys are stacking up nicely and I'm gonna go ahead and open all my point boxes. They're worth quite a bit, I'm aware, but I need, I just need this Lair point stick be able to keep skipping freely without worrying too much about it, so... I didn't get much from that though, 213 Slayer, but no, no announcements unfortunately. Oh my god, my first superior Blood Ref in forever! Let's see if it actually drops anything. What's it gonna be? Oh, an epic pet box! Yeah, that's actually not bad at all. I'll take a little epic pet box. Alright, finally finished those uh, Slayer hours, so I think I'm just gonna go back to a little bit of impling hunting again. Oh my, that setup is still a little outdated it seems like. I had this fun little idea for a bit where I was gonna save up the Ring of Vigors to use myself as we get them from like Chaos Elemental. Um, but I don't think that's a really good idea after all. Instead, <coughs> we're just gonna try and rush towards this Cotizo bow as quickly as we can because it's a, uh, a pretty big DPS upgrade. And I think it will just speed up so many things in so many regards that I should just, you know, rush towards it more. And then after that we can start going for the next goals and I want to get my damn collection log done one way or another. I should check the price before I put it in. But uh, yeah, just gonna continue selling things off as we get them for now. My votes and all of that. I should be able to buy another one of those Slayer tickets. Not gonna use it right now, but we should be able to purchase one at least. So gonna do that as well. 
We got this epic pet box, you know, I'm just gonna open it, maybe a log slot. We're lucky, and if we're not lucky, it's a shitty Rift Guardian, I should not have done that. Oh well, oh shit, I got a Superior Revenant, good luck. Good luck, good luck. Anything at all? Oh yeah, actually, Grand Prize Key. Hey, nice. Oh, we got another Superior Revenant. Right next to a PK, so I'm gonna have to be quick with it. Like, as soon as it dies, I'll teleport with the alien and then drop the treasure fairy mid-teleport, basically. So I should still get the influence from the drop ray bonus. I didn't, it didn't teleport, okay, okay, well. Whatever, it didn't drop anything anyway, no risk. Oh my god, I found a random guardian imp just strolling by, another player inside. But I don't give a fuck, that shit is mine now, show me the pet or something. I uh, was way too, low, uh, too slow on that, but we got an Elder Blood Impling from it, that's not bad at all. We gladly take those. A little someone on us. And goodbye. Noob. Yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna open this one too. It's always shit! Okay, well, um, I was thinking about buying some Marauder's Gloves. Because I'm kinda tired of using uh, Swift Gloves inside of the Wilderness. Over and over. Um, I know regular Marauders are bugged. I don't think they're doing anything about people that use them. I don't think it's like a big deal. But regular Marauders have the Swift Gloss effect at the moment. Like, been shown that they can proc with gifts in bug reports. So, that's not supposed to be, because that's what the en Enchanted version is for. Because it gets the sh uh, Swift Gloss effect. If I was really broke, I would have just bought the normal ones and said fuck it. But for the integrity of the series, we're just gonna buy the uh, imbued version. Because it's auto keep, so we won't be able to lose it. And I just think that's a lot, lot nicer than losing normal swift gloves repetitively. Huh. Just had a little blood maledict to spawn. The game is a little laggy. <laughs> oh, that's getting worse as I start recording. Um, I had a little blood maledict. This didn't do enough damage to get a drop because I was late on it, on finding it. But because it did some damage, I still got the boost from it. So, might be able to see a... Uh, Superior because of it. Oh boys, it's a guardian imp time as I was killing a revenant suddenly get one of these bad boys. Good luck, good luck. This time with the fairy out because it will actually give a pet. Believe. I got three cursed implings. Can't always be lucky. Last one was an elder imp. I ain't gonna complain. Oh my god guys, finally found a lucky impling for the first time today. I've uh, been hunting for hours and hours so... I'm glad to finally see one, sadly didn't double, but you know, it's a 400 bill catch, so it really can't complain. Money is money, even if it doesn't sell for exactly 400, but ish. Alright, gonna use one ref scroll, been going for like 50 minutes with the boost, but haven't seen a single spawn yet. So I figured may as well just go ahead and use one scroll and see if we get lucky on the next superior. But I can't afford to do like multiple of those, it's just way too expensive. But try it once. 12 KC. See if uh, you profit on a 71 bill scroll. Oh, good luck. Aww. Not lucky. Well, our first random spawn superior with one minute remaining. Good luck, good luck. What's it gonna be, game? Dragon upgrade, imagine. No, it's nothing, unfortunately. My bag full. Shaking my head. Okay, luck is turning around a bit, actually managed to get another Superior Revenant, good luck. Good luck. Yeah, no. Oh, we got a lucky Impling, once again, not doubled, I am not that lucky on that, but another lucky Impling, we take those. Man, for how long have you guys been commenting about me using regular, <laughs> regular Saradomi Bruce instead of flasks? I'm sure it's been a while, I'm sure it's been a while, but uh... I forgot that I could do that now that I'm, you know, the appropriate donator rank for them. Yeah. Huh. I mean, to be fair, most of my deaths are usually from getting KO'd, not because I run out of food. Uh, regular Bruce was definitely enough to outtank most half TVs, at least, but uh... Yeah, I should have done that a while ago, I can't argue. We have once again encountered a superior revenant. I am seeing a lot of them all of a sudden, and I don't mind it. 15 KC. Will this be the lucky one? Bro, I would... Oh man, I would be so happy to spoon a dragon upgrade out of all possible spoons. But it's a low-ass chance, obviously. One in a, K, one in a thousand. 
As you can tell, it is already hard enough to just get an announcement. All good though. What is going on, bro? I'm getting another one. Damn. Here we go. Spooning so many, my bum man doesn't like it. He is not happy with me. But too bad. See, the thing is, I get superiors a lot, and he doesn't, but every time I get it, it gives nothing. And every time he gets it, it shits out loot. So, you know, balance. Got ourselves another be care boy on us. Very, very scary. Of course, I hit all zeros. Just fan fucking tastic. At least not good hits. Now he's got a little friend with him too. Surprised how many people call clan members for PVMs. I mean, I'm obviously fighting back, but is that really enough reason? I should not be that much of a challenge. Which apparently I'm not, because I'm getting my booty slapped. Gonna run out of knives before I get to do anything. Just try and out tank the uh, TB, I guess. So many imps. Just gotta make sure there's no luckies in there. That must be a fun way of PKing. You go out with the idea, you know what, I'm gonna do some PKing. But in reality, you attack someone and then ask your friend to PJ. <laughs> That's all you're doing. A little on the weaker side, I suppose. Bit of a shame. Goodbye, though. You tried. So, so hard. Alright, so both luck implings, one for 375 and now another for 385. Putting us back at 1.5 trip on the island real quick to get another prize ticket. <clears throat> Alright, we're out here in the vintage dungeon trying to get some weekly shit done. We need uh, one part. I mean, we're, we're gonna get 250 tickets for two prize tickets, so that's gonna be nice. But if we do all thousand of them, then we would end up getting the... Whatchamacallit, you know what I mean. <laughs> the two $5 bonds, so that would be nice as well. Got a bit of drop rate, but I think the biggest quality of life, and it's a shame I missed one week, but having the grand looting bag here is just fucking amazing. I need to leave for a minute. First of all, I just found out you can, you can in fact use an enchanted heart here, so I think that would be a good decision. I realized I'm not using any of those vintage thingies. Yeah, two times points and 25% tickets for one hour. Is there anything else that gives increased vintage tickets that I need to know about? Alright, well, just uh, escaped from a pk -er. had a fun fight, chanced him a couple times, but didn't get the kill. We got our prize tickets for now, I'll go back in a minute to finish the rest off for the bonds and all of that. And then we have one from the jungle demon, let's see if these three are the magic ones. G, L, come on please, prize key, finish it. Fucking mystery bag. Nope, and the last one? No! Why can't you be a key? Let's see if there's anything good in here. Um, not really. Two PvP boxes. Why not? Oh, and a mystery bag. No, nothing good. 